Hey, Mr. Parker here to review the new one from Wild Eye Releasing, which is actually one of the cooler indie labels out there releasing stuff. And this one is Murder University by Richard Griffin, who did uh, Creature from Hillbilly Lake, Disco Exorcist, Exhumed, uh, Splatter Disco, uh, tons of stuff. Uh, Frankenstein and the Wax Museum of Horror. He's actually one of the, I think, better indie horror directors out there. Uh, and I think that he is making some interesting, cool things. And uh, he's obviously... Um, Improved over the years, I think that uh, Disco Exorcist was a freaking masterpiece. But anyways, for what it was, ex you know, the throwback grindhouse stuff, you know, it was amazing. But Murder University is a slasher movie. I'm not a huge fan of that cover. I just mean, it's alright, but it's very kind of a... Uh, Black Luster just kind of is in the generic, I should say. But anyways, what we have here is it takes place in the 80s, and it's a slasher, so you're going to get that kind of a throwback feel, of course. But this one is much more goofy and has uh, some silly comedy uh, involved and, you know, some cheesy college humor as well. There's even a teacher in here who's a Vietnam vet. Think back to school. But uh, he does a great job, and when he first comes on screen, he's, uh, he's in Exhumed and Zombie Allegiance. Welcome to college and to my class, Modern Western History 101. I am Professor McKinnon. Now, most of you are freshmen. But you're really much more than that. You're also a bunch of wide-eyed little shits sucking on the swollen tit of society. And in here, I am society's messenger. So it looks like you'll be sucking on my tit. And if you suck hard enough, you'll get an A. Is this guy for real? Mr. Green. Oh, shit. Hmm? Stand up, Mr. Green. Stand or fail. Okay. Mr. Green, do you want to fail this class? No. Perhaps you want this class to suck on your pink swollen tit. <laughs> no. What's wrong, Mr. Green? Are you a little sensitive for the subject matter? Let me tell you what is too sensitive for me. Vietnam! But... That's another subject for another time. Sit down, Mr. Green. You disgust me. Okie dokie. And seeing him in Zombie Allegiance playing such a kind of a nice guy to such a kind of psycho is pretty funny comparison. But anyways, obviously shout out to Back to School there with the teacher from Vietnam with the temper. And, uh, you know, it does have that 80s kind of Revenge of the Nerds type deal going on at the same time with the sex comedy deal. There is a fair amount of nudity as well. But the main plot here is a series of uh, decapitations are going on by these masked Satan kind of like killers and no one really knows what's going on here there's a detective on the case michael thurber who's an exhumed and he's really great in this as well he uh won't give up the case because a loved one of his uh died so somehow he keeps his daughter and another kid who was attacked who's uh has kind of a tragic past as well and he puts them into the school as kind of like uh decoys or you know kind of like not i guess i'd say plants to try to find out what's going on of course that doesn't end well but you get the point. Uh, I must say about this movie is uh, there is tons of decapitations, a super high body count. I don't know if I've ever seen this many people killed so fast in decapitated ways. Don't be silly. Whoever committed those murders is long gone. Most decapitations on screen ever, probably. Like I said, the gore effects are really fun in this movie. The score and soundtrack is fairly decent. The score is really good, and the soundtrack choices are decent as well. Uh, it's nice to see a horror movie finally with a score. Yeah, especially. Uh, and the opening music in here, the song they made for it is kind of reminiscent of the Dickies Killer Clowns Modern Space or the Class of Newcomb High type deal. It was made for the movie. It's called Murder, U Murder University, and it really gets stuck in your head. There's, of course, some politically incorrect humor here, as in uh, a lot of Richard Griffin movies there are. There's uh, talking about a play that uh, is pretty crazy and uh, musical, and they're singing all this stuff about hating communists and socialists and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> and uh, among things, like I said, it, it, it does seem kind of mixed genres for sure. Genre, uh, 
blending and uh, at points it does feel a little uneven where you're like, this is kind of scary and then you're like, no wait, it's really goofy, no wait, what the heck's going on with this? Like I said, Michael Thurber plays like a, a tough as nails cop who has a terrible temper and he's actually really good at it. The lead guy's okay as well. And uh, like I said, there are some really funny moments in here that actually made me laugh out loud and there's actually a really good sex scene in here that ends way different than uh, you would expect and he, he's uh, Griffin is good at capturing sex scenes uh, I mean at Disco Exorcist has some really good sex scenes as well and it's kind of weird for me to say that because I've seen so many sex scenes and stuff in movies and usually they're just like eh there's some boobs but uh, ones that stick out especially in horror movies are uh, I think uh, genuinely different and I think that's kind of cool and this movie definitely has a, a way to capture it I think that it was kind of like almost sensual in a weird way and started off comedic and doesn't end so much but uh, if this sounds like it's up your alley, you want to see uh, kind of a nice mix, uh, kind of a little, some twists, some curveballs, some head chopping, uh, then check it out. I'd recommend this one. Uh, I think that Griffin is a uh, uh, pretty competent director. All his movies look really clean and bright, and they're shot well, and uh, you never worry about uh, the budget showing itself too bad. And uh, they, I pretty much enjoyed most of his movies to this point, and this is no exception. Uh, Murder University, check it out. It comes with some behind the scene, no, two commentary tracks and a deleted scene. And uh, some of the acting is a bit shaky from the extras, but uh, the leads, the, uh, Thurber does a great job, and the teacher does a really good job. The uh, two main kid leads, they do our uh, teenage leads, they do decent. And uh, the end, there's a character in there who divulges some things. I think that he was actually pretty good as well. But uh, that's Murder University. Uh, good gore, good good score, and uh, some decent nudity. If you get piques your guys' interest, uh, thank you very much for watching. Recommended. Bye. Hey, I need a ride. <laughs> you are one pretty chick. As gas or grass, nobody rides for free. Look, please just let me in, okay? Got any reefer, man? What? No. Look, I'll pay for your gas back to town, okay? I was hoping to get lucky. Chicks these days. They don't put out like they used to. All right. Hop in the back, little filly. Look, I'm not a girl. Will you still suck on cocks, though? Fine. Fine. Just let me in. All right. Hop in. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. What are you doing? I can do this. No, please, don't. You're gonna hit her. I've got it, it's not my first time. Oh, you look at that. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out of the way or I'll shoot you too.